When these characters bought the farm, nobody shed a tear. In fact, we rejoiced. Log on! Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most satisfying deaths in anime. <laughs> for this list, we're looking at characters whose dastardly acts made their demise all the sweeter. And when we say dead, we mean dead. Any immortals confined to a life of eternal solitude or buried alive, like this chatty Kathy from Naruto, will not be included. I'll tear you to this should go without saying, but beware of spoilers ahead. <laughs> Number 10, Heath Oslo, The Garden of Grisaya. <laughs> Kicking off our list, Heath Oslo was the guardian of protagonist Yuji. After the boy lost his family, Heath went on to train Yuji to become the ultimate killer, which involved a lot of drugs and mental manipulation. <laughs> When Yuji finally comes to his senses, he confronts the man who made him into a monster. Although it was no easy battle, that made his defeat all the more satisfying. Especially when Heath is killed by a ballpoint pen of all things. As the old adage goes, the pen is mightier than the sword. <laughs> Number 9, Hendrickson, The Seven Deadly Sins. Look at him. Is he? There's nothing sadder than a soldier who can't let go of war. Enter great holy knight Hendrickson. Seeing battle as the only reason his order exists, Hendrickson revives an old enemy, the demon clan, in order to give the holy knights an enemy to fight. The gate opens at last. Come demons, reveal yourselves in all your unholy glory. This means turning his back on old friends and allies to keep the war train running. Hendrickson even takes down his own friend, Dreyfus, when he looks for redemption. I shall grant you a painless and tranquil death, old friend. That was one step too far for Melodius, who swiftly laid the smack down. And that is your sin! I cannot be defeated! Not by the likes of you! Number 8, Uvogin, Hunter x Hunter. <laughs> the Hunter x Hunter series has managed to slip in a few satisfying deaths along the way. However, as an original member of Phantom Troop, Uvogin was one of the ones we wanted to get rid of the most. He was a lover of battle and wanted nothing more than to fight strong opponents. <laughs> <laughs> Uvogin never really hesitated to kill either, in pretty gruesome fashions, making him that much more dangerous. Kurapika, a survivor of one of Uvogin's massacres, is the one to end this monster's rampage for good with an attack from his judgment chain. <laughs> Number 7, Kaecilia Zabi, Mobile Suit Gundam. Destroy the base before our secrets get out. But, but we still have several men posted around the area. I don't care. Kaecilia was one of the most prominent and ruthless commanders of the Xeon during the One Year War. As the only daughter of the Zabi family, Kaecilia had to prove herself against three successful brothers. She did so by engineering powerful weapons of destruction. Cassilia ended up living the longest of her family during the One Year War. You aren't usually this naive, my dear brother. But since her family was responsible for the death of Char's father, she was next on his list. So he demonstrated the greatest headshot in anime history. Holy shit, that was gnarly. Number six, Seiryu Ubiquitous, Agame Ga Kill. There were many great deaths in Akame Ga Kill, like Akame taking down S-Death. 
However, Sarah Yu was a whole other level of satisfying. An empire puppet, she believed that killing criminals, innocent or not, deemed her a savior. A psychotic and hypocritical seeker of justice, Sarah Yu crossed the line when she befriended Tatsumi, while her tegu, Koro, killed his comrade, Shile. What follows is a spectacular duel between Seryu, Koro, and the members of Night Raid. Pumpkin wielder Mine, who witnessed Shile's death, scores the killing blow with her own brand of justice. Whoa, look at that. That was also gnarly. Number 5. Lust. Full Metal Alchemist, Brotherhood. Now you two, everyone has mocked me! I won't stand for- <laughs> One of the hottest anime villainesses ever was also one of the toughest to bring down. With deceptively good looks and razor-sharp claws, Lust lived up to her name as she seduced and killed anyone in her path. <laughs> With a Philosopher's Stone placed inside her, she was practically immortal. That is, until she went up against the flame alchemist Roy Mustang, who was driven by the death of his former comrade. Those are your last words. Wouldn't you rather scream? In an epic showdown, Roy unleashed his fury on Lust with just a simple lighter. Jesus. Number 4. Light Yagami, Death Note. For an entire series, we watched Light evolve from idealistic student to power-hungry maniac with a god complex. He had killed enemies, allies, and even innocents with his death note. By the end, we were waiting for Light to get what was coming for him, and he did so in the least elegant fashion. When he was caught and exposed, Light broke down and lost it in a glorious rage. Who else could have done it and come this far? Would they have kept going? Icing on the cake, Light's legend ended in a whimper as his longtime Shinigami ally, Ryuk, added Light's name to his death note, thus ending the reign of Kira. Well, Light, it's been interesting. Okay, that one was more tame. Number three, Danzo. Naruto Shippuden. The essence of a ninja is to operate in secret, but there are times when a man who moves in the shadows must step out into the light. Danzo Shimura was a character beyond redemption. He was a warmonger who saw peace as the ultimate step backwards. Using backhanded deception, as well as his own personal ninja unit, the Foundation, Danzo made his way up the ranks. His term as interim Hokage doesn't last long, as series fan favorite Sasuke is able to defeat and mortally wound him in combat. Probably wasn't a good idea to take the eyes of his clan members after all. He hit a vital point right through the hostage. Number two, Frieza, Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Frieza was one of Dragon Ball Z's long-running villains. In a span of almost 70 episodes, this intergalactic tyrant laid waste to the Namekian population. He was also responsible for inflicting considerable damage on the Z-Fighters, ending the lives of Krillin and Vegeta. Frieza did prove powerful, as even a final attack from Goku couldn't finish him off for good. That honor went to the time-traveling Super Saiyan Trunks. The once invincible Frieza was literally cut to pieces by the golden-haired teen and blasted into oblivion. Whoa, I thought this was supposed to be a kid's show. Before we reveal our most satisfying end to a character, here are a few honorable mentions. You were a fairly interesting man, in addition to being a vile, revolting bastard.
家族は一緒にいるべきだだったら私のクイーンクイーンだ Number one, Dio Brando, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Stardust Crusaders. You thought Frieza had a hard time staying down? Trust us, he's got nothing on our number one pick. Dio was the first antagonist of the JoJo saga. Once believed dead, this vampire nemesis returns, alive and well, in the modern era to continue his campaign against the Joestar clan. <laughs> However, he is unprepared for the hidden power of Joestar's descendant, Dotaro. <laughs> Being a vampire proves his ultimate downfall as he is tossed into the desert to roast for good. Do you agree with our list? Just as things were beginning to look promising too. Now I suppose we'll have to start over from scratch. Were there any other character deaths that left you very satisfied? For more character-driven top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. You, you're missing